Anyone who likes music knows the feelings that they get from music. There's actually quite a lot of evidence about the benefits of music for health and well-being. Music is absolutely crucial for mental health. It brings people together. It's something that brings a sense of joy, but it also is used for remembering. It's used for saying goodbye. It's used for celebrating. And also the empowerment of allowing people to produce something that they can then share. You know, it's really empowering. So my role was to produce a programme of activities for the Year of Music, all based on health and well-being. They're running in loads of different like libraries around the Kirklees Council, running loads of different, well, providing loads of different kinds of uh, creative arts sessions for people. We've had 16 projects for Kirklees Year of Music, and people with learning disabilities, people with mental health conditions, people at risk of isolation and loneliness. We worked with around maybe 35. Uh, young people with learning disabilities and taught them how to DJ um, and also taught them how to produce um, props for, for a theatre show and that was in collaboration with the Dark Horse Theatre. We've been doing prep for an event at uh, Smile Bar in Huddersfield. Uh, we've been doing some DJ practice and some prop making. So it's called After Party. Um, it's based on a theatre show that they've, they've done previously and they're now turning it into a rave. Once you start to DJ and once you start to put on your own club nights, you realise like what a thrill it is. So we start to release that feeling with each other. It kind of breaks down social barriers because people don't usually expect people with learning disabilities to be putting on raves, so they come in and it's like really um, mind-changing for people, which is cool. It's uplifting, you know, you, you, know, um, you feel, you feel, you feel you know, very good, you know, about yourself. Music makes you feel like I'm bouncing off the walls. So who also ran monthly Speak Our Music events, providing support for musicians, by musicians from um, different genres of music. Um, musicians who led the sessions had lived experiences of health issues. Um, the sessions we ran included a sound bath, um, creative writing and djembe drumming. We work in a trauma-focused way, so there was always food there, people could come and go. It's very informal um, and people really enjoy that. We had people who were cancelling day centre just to come to these sessions. There was one person who said he'd never go out, but when, when he came, he said, it's really good I've come because actually it's made me feel better. Mokik are a really small organisation. They wanted to um, get a lot of different people together to do, to practice and rehearse music together. There was some funding available from Kirklees Year of Music and they asked two of our community members to help organise a concert, a world music concert. This is a wonderful way for people to get together and also to celebrate each other's cultures. I loved it with all of my heart. I was happy to, to see all of these people, I mean local, Ukrainians, everyone, who came. Aspire runs a network of uh, creative community groups for anyone over 55 to build confidence, to build creativity. We were thrilled to be able to join forces with Jackie Craig who is a local um, singing for lung health practitioner and she ran sessions across all of our groups so we actually did three sessions at every group and then we had a celebration event at the end of that where we brought all the groups together in July last year. The best thing has been the singing because I stopped singing for nearly three years and I've sang all my life and I started singing again and it's it's wonderful wonderful feeling that I can sing again I've been so lucky I am the girl with golden hair I wanna sing it out to everybody what a joy what a life what a joy Kirkley Year of Music was fantastic, it was great timing for us, it brought, helped us to fund a project that we might not otherwise have had funding for. So I think it's helped raise the profile of some of those provider organisations out there in the community. I think it's raised people's aspirations about what they can get involved with 
what they can achieve in terms of, of music. So people performing for the first time, making music for the first time. I just like to see people happy and healthy and, and using creativity because it's such a um, it's a tool that people don't realise actually we can do that. You can access creativity all year round. You know, you could do it on your own, you could do it in a group. It, it's just much more accessible. Most important I think is the people. It's made a difference to their health and well being. We can see that um, from what the projects are telling us making art yourself and getting outside and doing activities. It's amazing how much that can impact somebody's mental health. It's the community connectedness, the collaborative work um, and empowerment. You know, we, we've empowered people to use music how they want to use it for themselves. You can see people's faces lighting up and that's really important to me.